An early morning fire in Providence claims the life of a woman in her 90s. Fire officials say they had difficulty navigating through the home at first. Tonight we're hearing from neighbors and how they're remembering the victim. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer joins us now live from Hazel Street with how things look now. Brittany. Well, Mike, the windows are boarded up and burnt debris is scattered on the outside here, but fire officials say it's on the inside that is destruction, leaving the home a total loss and people who knew the elderly victim heartbroken. A woman in her 90s is dead after a fire ravages her home, despite the efforts of several neighbors trying to save her. The only thing I could think about was, you know, helping her out because she was there by herself. As soon as we kicked the door down, the smoke and the flames were just right there. Billowing smoke and flames forced Kevin Kennedy and the others back. Deputy Assistant Chief Steve Capricotta says it was also a challenge for fire crews. When firefighters first arrived, they had trouble finding the flames because of the thick smoke. When they found the source, they found the victim. It's honestly really, really a shame because she was an elderly woman and she was living alone. And it really, 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 really was devastating because... She was trapped. She didn't really have anywhere to go, and that just breaks my heart. Wida Marmel stopped by her home this afternoon to say a prayer for her and sprinkle holy water on the front steps. People who knew her tell me she was 93 years old and a deadly fire isn't the way she should have passed. You expect her to be going out naturally, you know, peacefully, but this just honestly breaks my heart because I just imagine her, her, um, her fear, her fear of being in that house alone, not having anyone help her, just trapped. It's just, it's, it's heartbreaking. It really is. I'm still in shock this morning. Um, and some of the neighbors try to kick the door down, and um, it was beyond his control. So we we called the authorities. Yeah, yeah it's such a sad day today. And a small memorial. You can see flowers are now being brought here to the front steps of the elderly woman's home. And as the sign reads on the front door, we are told the cause of this fire is still under investigation. Police have also not released the identity of the victim. For now, live in Providence, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News.